YouTube tutorial. Um, here we go again with another tutorial about Google Classroom, something that will help you greatly when um, you are working on Google Slides at home. Um, now, Google Slides appears in this yellow, goldish, orange color. Um, I'm going to be showing you the assignment Math About Me Google Slide that you can do. Um, but I want to also show you how to create a new slide if you want to make one from scratch. So, first thing you need to do is go to your Google Drive. When you're at your Google Drive, you click New. And then right here in the top three things that you're going to use is Google Slides. So, when you click on Google Slides, it'll take you to a new one. The first thing you need to do whenever you're creating any type of Google document um, is you need to create a name for it. So like this one, I'm just going to call it New Slide, New Slideshow. I would call it the name of the assignment or whatever. Uh, it will come up with these generic themes that uh, are free for Google Classroom or Google Slides, I should say. But you can click any of these, and when you click on one, it'll change all the slide layouts to look like that theme. So that's that's kind of cool. It takes all the work out of you, uh, uh, from you. So, so I'm just going to type my blank slide, okay? And then you don't have to put a subtitle or whatever. You can always preview what you have so far with the uh, present and so this is what it'll look like on the screen um, if you want to add a text box let's say you wanted to add something else so you you click the T just like in Google draw and you can add a text box hi I am a text box for real all right, so I have a slide there, or uh, I inserted a text box there. You can insert shapes just like in Google Draw if you need to. Uh, you can change the background color. It can be transparent. It could be red, pink, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to get rid of that. <sighs> um, you can change the background layout. It's blue right now, but let's say I wanted to go yellow because I'm feeling kind of weird. It's really hard to read the, the writing now. All right, these buttons will always be your friends. Undo, redo. So let's say I didn't like that yellow. Instead of going through all the process of background, I can just hit undo. And boom, it goes right back to what I wanted it to be. Okay, so then from there, I can insert a picture. Let's upload from this computer. Let's see if I can find a picture. All right, so here's a picture of Gideon and I. That's perfect. So I can... Put that in here and I can scale it down and fit it where I want it to be. Okay. Um, you can also find pictures from the internet. So search web. Uh, let's do a dad picture. Oh, look at that one. I like this one, super dad. Okay. So I'll put that one in there. Okay, so I got got some pictures in there, some from the web, some from my computer. Um, I can, if I want to, I can make transitions. So if you want to make a new slide, so I'm going to put a new slide. Um, cool guy, teacher. You sure do think highly of yourself. So um, right now there's no transition. Let me show you what that looks like. Click percent. So this is slide one, slide two, nothing special. But if you want to transition, you go to tools. No, sorry, you go to slide, you click transition, and then there's all these cool little things you can do. You can do a dissolve, and let's say I, I want to play it first, see what it looks like. So it looks like that. And so I like that one. I'm going to make my life easy, and I'm going to apply 
So I gotta stop it first. Apply to all slides. So now you see these little three circles. That means that it's on every slide. Okay. So now I'll show you what it looks like. So, so there's the first slide. It just kind of fades in, and then I'm gonna fade to the next one. So it just gives it a little a little pop of thing. You also can do uh, change the words like where they animate as well. So let's say I want the pictures to pop up. So I'm gonna hit this command, or I'm sorry, I should say shift. I'm gonna hit shift. So those two pictures, I'm gonna add an animation. I'm gonna get it to fly from the left, okay? So I'm gonna see what that looks like. So right now we have my blank slide, and then when I click the space bar, boom! Wow, magic. Okay, so once again, you can do that with words as well. So I'm going to do that with this box right here. I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to do fade out. So then now I can, I can present this. Let's see what it looks like. My blank slide. Hi, I'm a text box. Wow, he just flew in and he flew backwards. Cool guy teacher. Okay, evidently the animation didn't take on that one, but you get the you get the hint. So we went over some basic things, text box, adding a picture, adding shapes, there's lines if you need that stuff. Um, you can change the layout or the background color and you can add transitions. Um, this is good if you if you have a project or something online that you need to do. So let's get to this one over here. So this is the math about me, the math about me poster that you're going to be making. And so I am blank years old. So let's say, Mr. Metters, right now when I make this, I am currently 33. I need to make that box a little bit bigger. Okay. 33 and I'm trying to think of a math problem so I can't I got to come up with something better so 33 and I know that that's a double number so I can divide that by 11 oh my font changed on it nice so there's a lesson right there I can make that bigger And if you know that 33 divided by 11 should equal 3. Booyah. So I was born in 2000 blank, so turn it into word form. Uh, I wasn't born in 2000. I was born in 1986. I'm, an, I'm from the 80s. So I would fill that in. My favorite thing about math is I'm going to put nothing. Come on. You, you, there's something. You know, you like time. If you are in sports, you like speed. So that's measurement. So you would talk about like measurement as in distance and time. Um, if you are into, um, uh, if you're into drawing, then you, you would like measurement as well. Inches, um, centimeters, things like that. If you are a very math minded person, maybe you like facts and solving problems. I know I do. Um, I've gone to Level Grove for how many years? So fifth grade minus how many years you've been there? I have blank pets, so dogs, cats, fish, horse, I don't know. Number of kids in my family, so the total kids, there are five, and I am one of the five, so I am one-fifth of the kids in my family. Um, on this one, there's... Uh, there's blank ones, so you're gonna have to do text box. So if you come in here, so name, Mr. Matters, and it says a picture of me, so I can put insert image from my computer. I'm gonna pull that picture up of Gideon and I again. And there I am, shrink it down, put it right there. Okay. 
Um, and then tell your age using division, tell him pets using addition. So use that text box to answer these questions. But it's it's the same thing. Um, Google Slides you use probably almost as much as um, the Google Notebook side of things. Like this is Google Google Docs is probably what you're going to use the absolute most. Uh, that's for typing papers and things like that. So it's really good to play around. Check it out and see what you can do. This will be an assignment posted on Google Classroom. All right. Thanks for paying attention and see you soon.